a lot of people probably haven't seen you or heard from you since you gave that long and detailed interview to Gary Neville. That was last July. I had to remind myself of that. And in that, Delhi, you know, you addressed a lot of personal issues, which I think resonated with a lot of people. So how are you, first of all? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. Uh, like you said, obviously, it's been, a, it's been nearly a year now, <laughs> but um, I'm feeling good. Obviously injured, which is disappointing, but uh, yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, I think, you know, when I've obviously done that interview, I said um, it's the best I'd felt at that time, obviously coming out of rehab and getting ready to be back playing. Uh, it's been tough, but you know, it's, it's a journey I'm on and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, just waiting to get back now. Well, that's the main thing. Were you surprised with that interview, how, how much reaction there was to it? Yeah. I think when I said when I was on that when I'd done the interview I said you know if I helped one person that was all I needed I had to do it for my own reasons obviously but if it helped one person that was all I wanted from it and the reaction I got and the support you know it was definitely overwhelming but um, it was amazing to see how many people it did help and yeah I'm definitely very proud of it. So you say you're in a, a good place mentally right now I think from after that interview, I think a lot of people were, were really hoping to see you play a, a big part for Everton this season. So why hasn't that been the case? Yeah, I was too, to be honest. Um, I think it's... Uh, when I went there, I'd torn my uh, rec firm. And then, you know, it's just been a... I've had to be patient. I've really had to learn what patience is. But, um, yeah, it's obviously been a, it's been a, a long journey with the injury. Um, a lot of ups and downs. Um, but it's something I've learned a lot from and it's helped me grow even more as a person, which I'm, I'll forever be thankful for. Obviously not thankful to be injured, but to have this opportunity and to, to really get to know myself and learn myself. And I think the pain of the injury is something I can really channel when I am back and uh, help it to keep motivating me into, you know, something I can learn from. So, you know, it's, it's just been an injury problem. Um, that's gone on. It's been, obviously after the interview, a lot of people was like, asking me like, oh, when are you coming back to football? And thinking I was just taking a break, but it is just an injury. Um, one that hopefully I'm getting to the end, to, end of. And this, um, yeah, I'm, I can see the light at the end. So I'm, I'm excited. Well, that's good news. Do you, do you think we as the public sometimes underestimate the frustrations, the, the, the mental pressures that a footballer can go through when they're not able to play? Yeah, I think if you'd asked me before, you know, injuries would be right at the top of my list of one of the things that would mentally would be the toughest thing to overcome. And before this injury, you know, my I think the longest injury I had was like eight weeks and that felt like forever. So to have this one, that's why I'm thankful that I went through the process I did in the summer, because I think if I hadn't gone through that process and didn't understand myself and didn't learn everything I learned, this would have been a different. It would have been so tough for me to go through this. You know, it's over a year now. Um, when I've just been wanting to play football. It's one of having to sit on the physio bed or even just train by yourself for eight weeks is long enough, I think. So to go through that for a long time, like I said, I really had to learn what patience is, but it's made me even hungrier to get back now. So I'm just, I'm just waiting. <laughs>